All right, so go ahead and lay on your backs and bring your knees into your chest. We'll get nice and warm. We're actually going to dive into a bridge series first, uh, a little different than going right into those abs, but just pull both knees in and start with that nice little rock from side to side for me, really just letting that lower back sink into the mat. And then as you're giving yourself that nice little rock, if you want to draw some circles with those hips as if you were that spoon stirring that pot, go ahead and reverse directions here. Just start to set that intention, let things start to wake up. You're going to go ahead and place your feet flat on your mat for me. And then just go ahead and reach and make sure you can tap the back of those ankles. And then what I'm going to have you do is you're going to walk your feet a little bit closer together than you normally would. So your inner thighs are going to be touching right here. You'll place your hands flat on the mat and then you'll take a big inhale, exhale, lift up to the top. So hold right there for me. Now it's going to feel a little bit different because your knees, your inner thighs, everything is touching. Now go ahead and tuck your tailbone under for me. You're going to come about halfway down, lift, squeeze. Halfway down, lift, squeeze. So we're getting into inner thighs and center beauty right from the start. It's going to feel a little bit different. You'll fatigue a little bit faster in this position. So think to yourself, as you find that tuck under, you're going to squeeze your inner thighs together. So tuck under and then squeeze your inner thighs together. Nice. Tuck under and then squeeze those inner thighs together for me. Good. Big inhale here. We're just in that bridge series. Inner thighs are together. You meet us there when you're ready. Perfect. Big inhale and then exhale. Again, you're coming about halfway down. We're just firing everything up. The difference in this bridge, again, is that I want everything squeezing. Legs aren't at hip width distance. Their inner thighs are touching the entire time. You're going to hold at the top for me in three, in two. Now just hold at the top and start squeezing your inner thighs like you had a ball between those thighs, even though you don't. Squeeze together, really big tucks here. So don't think about it as your legs are separating, just squeeze tighter and tighter at the top of that range. Good. Squeeze in and that tiny little lift. Squeeze in for me. Hold right here and now just start tucking your tailbone under. Your inner thighs are not going to have an option but to continue to squeeze together. You should be already starting to find that shape. So as you squeeze inner thighs together, you're now tucking your tailbone under for me. You've got about eight more counts right here, seven and six, tuck, squeeze, tuck and squeeze. So you're not lifting, you're rolling your tailbone under, belly button will come towards your forehead and then those inner thighs are forced to squeeze in for two. On one, just freeze from your right back at the top of that range, right where you started now. I want you to think, can you tuck your hips under any further? Can you squeeze your inner thighs together for me? Now squeeze up and in. So instead of that tuck, you're squeezing up and in. Let those legs start to shake. You're going to get a tiny break after this. Squeeze up and in. Nice. Squeeze up and in for eight and seven. You've got six and five. Squeeze up and in. Don't give up at it. Four and three. Beautiful. Two on one. Let those hips sink all the way back down. You should be fatigued. Extend those legs long for me. Reach your hands up towards the ceiling. Take a big inhale. On that exhale, you're going right into your alternating feet up, but I want them slow. Exhale, lift. Think about two counts to come down. Exhale to lift, and then those two counts as you lower down with control. So inner thighs just got fired up, center booty just got fired up. Now we're gonna get those lower abs. You have 10 seconds here, do not rush these. Again, you're right in that first series, so you're gonna be a little bit fatigued. As you exhale, think about two counts to tuck your tailbone to come down. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Who's that about a nice part? Those look good. Everyone's pointing through toes, keep leg long, legs long. Five and four, can you get one more in here? Three, big lift, lift, lift. Two on one lower, all the way back down. Pretty good. Bring your feet flat on your mat, and then you're going to heel toe those feet apart. Heels will be on the mat, toes will be off of the mat. Now lift your toes up, tuck your tailbone, meet me at the top. Now you're in those hammies in your outer thigh. You're going to come halfway down, lift and squeeze. Halfway down, lift and squeeze for me. So we're just circling that leg right here. So we just hit inner thighs to get them warmed up. Now we're going to go into that outer thigh. So think to yourself here, heels drive into that mat. 
toes are lifted up and think about it as if you were trying to burn holes into your mat you're pressing your heels so firmly onto it and then you're dropping your tailbone about halfway down lift and squeeze again think about the tuck here i'd rather you think about that rolling motion belly button to forehead as you lift your glutes up to get right in the center you'll feel that line under your butt in five seconds you're going to hold at the top we're going to go in to some pulses out an inch so give me three and two, everybody hold at the top. Instead of lifting up, I want you to press your knees out an inch and in an inch. You have to focus on staying tucked in your glutes. It's a tiny, deliberate movement. It's not how wide can I get those knees. It's can I bring them out an inch and in an inch, out an inch and in an inch. Think to yourself, you're squeezing from your glutes. Outer thighs are getting nice and warm. You hold here in eight. You do add that nice little tuck back in. In six, in five, that one inch and in one inch, you've got it three and two, hold on one. Now start tucking your tailbone under again. Start tucking your tailbone under. So think in this past movement, when legs were glued together, you felt inner thighs forcing together. Now, as you're tucking up, keep those legs nice and stable. Knees are going to want to open up a little bit more. Just keep tucking under here for me for eight and seven. We're going to add it together. You're going to give me one lift, one press out in five and four. Good. Three and two. Just hold right here. You're going to tuck under, press out an inch. Two separate movements. So you're not tucking and pressing out. You're giving me a tuck. Then knees press out an inch. You've got 10 seconds here. Again, what's happening with your heels? Can you drive them down? Heels are perfect, Amy. Those toes are lifted and those hammies better be on fire because that form is perfect. You've got five seconds, ladies. Four and three. You're holding for me at the top in two. Final hold right here. Arms are going to lift up towards that ceiling. You should be nice and warm. Now, can you give me one more tuck of your tailbone? Don't think about height and lifting. This isn't a thrust. It's that tuck. You're squeezing from center booty. You're going to get your hamstring nice and warm. And because those heels are driving down so firmly, the back of your legs are on fire. Eight seconds here, seven and six. You're in that second round of V-ups. The legs are going to come nice and long one more time for four in three. Good. Two, slowly lower hips down. Keep hands lifted up towards that ceiling. You're coming all the way up and then you're giving yourself that two count down. Exhale, lift, reach for ankle. Inhale, lower down. Down. Exhale, lift for ankle, reach, and then tuck tailbone as you're coming down. Focus here on the tuck. If you can point through your toe and make this a nice and a long lean leg, that line from that toe all the way down towards that hip. Breathe for me, friends. 15 seconds right here. In 15 seconds, knees are going to come to tabletop. You're going to want to take the break. I want you to meet me right in that tabletop position. We're getting ready for some bicycles in three and two, legs come into tabletop, hands come behind your head, lift head, neck, and shoulder. You tap right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right. You are nice and high in that bicycle series. As you twist, you're thinking to yourself, can I come up one inch higher? It's not a race here. This is about form. It's your first series of the day. Take that big inhale. Set your intention with these bicycles. You have 15 seconds left. First rest comes after that. You are holding on to this for me. And 10 and 9. Knees come into your chest. You're getting ready for your first forearm plank, but you do get a break first. In 4, in 3, beautiful two inhale knees come into your chest rest take a big inhale i want a really big exhale press lower back into that mat knees pulling towards your chest cross your ankles rock yourself up meet me in a forearm plank in five you have four seconds to get there three and two everyone's in a forearm plank press forearms into the mat glue legs together if you can you start right here we have three changes total you take breaks when you need to but we're going to lean into this first plank right here option to open those legs up if you need more stability and you're just still waking up and getting warm option to glue inner thighs together for me in 15 seconds you are in your plank in and out so you're going to walk feet out out in in you have 10 seconds don't move stay in that nice isometric hold let everything start to fire up take one more big inhale on your exhale pull belly button in and now you're walking those feet out out in in we're not jumping we are just going to walk and make this nice and deliberate feet come to the edge of your mat they come right back in beautiful big inhales here breathe relax shoulders think to yourself how can i squeeze and contract these muscles to wake everything up you have 10 seconds right here hold on to it nine and eight you should be getting nice and warm seven and six feet stay apart in five they stay apart in four hold it there in three 
and two walk feet apart you go right into your reaches reach right arm forward to that ball in front of you left arm now your hips are going to want to open up here so what you're going to try to do is think to yourself can i press into that forearm can i try to keep those hips square as you reach and reach beautiful you're holding on to this you have 20 seconds left you're in your third change you do finish this first set of uh, planks with a push-up series and then we'll take a rest five seconds and you hold center in four you can do this three keep reaching do not give up on it don't listen to that mind two come back center for me walk up to those hands option to stay on your toes option to come to the meaty part of your knees i want a two count down push up right here you have 30 seconds and you rest so everyone's gonna fight through it together use your breath inhale as you lower exhale as you press away tuck tailbone under use those abs squeeze your glutes 10 seconds already and you're out of it so can you really push through finish those push-ups don't take the break you have five Five, beautiful, four, nice, Corey. Three, two, everyone presses back. Find your first child's pose. Knees open up nice and wide. Seat comes back towards those um, those angles. Beautiful. Take the big inhale here for me. As you're sinking into this first child's pose, I just want you to think about shoulders relaxing for a moment. So inch those fingertips towards the front of your mat for me. And then really think about letting your belly press against the top of those legs. And for a second, we're coming into that. Nice all four position. If you have balas and you want them on your ankles, we're going to start in a traditional leg series. Walk up to your hands for me because I just want one cat cow stretch right from the top. And then you'll tuck that tailbone under. Balas will go on those ankles. If you have them, do not worry if you don't. We started in some really nice traditional movements last week and I think we got nice and warm. I am gonna bring you down to your forearms here and I'm gonna have you extend your right leg first, toe points. We lift it up towards the ceiling and we hold. Take left hand and press it onto that left thigh just to feel that balance. So you're pointing through right toe. You're in your first isometric hold. Left hand comes back down, but now you know how to check your balance. From here, I want you to take that right toe. You tap it behind your left toe. You lift, you tap it down center, and you lift. We're right in a combo to start. Tap behind that left foot, squeeze to lift, tap center. I want your leg long and strong. I want you to think right from the start. Can I pull belly button in? Can I really squeeze outer thigh, center, and that inner thigh are still going to help you through this? And you're thinking about the longest line that you can create with that leg. So there is no bend in your knee. How much length can you create behind it? Pointing through that toe, we start with a big movement. You follow it with two tiny little macro movements. You have eight seconds here. This is a slow series. There's no rushing happening today. I want you to make this so deliberate. In four seconds, that leg stays at the top. You go right into your pulses. You do not take a break. In three, in two, lift that leg back up right into your pulses. Where do your pulses come from? Right from that center booty. The line under your butt's gonna help you, but you're just squeezing for me. Just keep squeezing right there. Don't worry about your toe leading this. I don't care if your leg doesn't look like it's lifting at all, but if you squeeze that right cheek as tight as you can, I promise that leg's gonna lift up just about an inch. Is your belly pulled in right here? You have eight seconds. Good. Seven and six. We are drawing circles. I don't, couldn't even tell you the last time I had you draw a circle. We've got four seconds and we're going to trace a quarter in three. In two, beautiful, on one. I want the tiniest circle you can give me. You're going to want to trace an apple. I don't want any apples in these rooms. I want blueberries and I want quarters. That's what I want from you. If your shoulders are starting to creep into your ears, I need you to take a big inhale. This circle should really light everything on fire. You have six seconds and we reverse it. Five, four, you have this three and two on one. Reverse that circle. Keep this as deliberate and as tiny as you can. Your abs are going to start to turn on right here because you're contracting. You're staying square. You have five. In four, we're just holding. In three, second isometric hold of of three and two hold right here on one bring that left hand to your quad point through your toe watch your balance start to really challenge you as you fatigue squeeze through right glute hold here for eight seconds if you need to put that left hand back you will you have five four hold on to it for me three and two bring that left hand back take that knee you're going to bring that knee in to meet that right 
left, excuse me, and then extend. Bring that knee in, extend and squeeze. Your hamstring is gonna start to fire up right here. You have to give me that big movement. Pull knee in and extend. You have two changes and a hold left. You're basically in your second round of the series, a little bit different, one big movement, two tiny, you have this. As you pull that knee in, can you extend with that deliberate squeeze? Pull that knee back in, eight, seven. Yes, nice, six, beautiful, Kathleen, five, and four, right leg, full extension, three, hold it out for me, and two, here's that full extension, hold. From here, I want you to squeeze your leg in an inch. So instead of up, squeeze in an inch. Oh, don't we love a good traditional series? Squeeze that leg in an inch. Feel that inner thigh helping you to pull that leg in. It's going to be more than an inch, and I'm okay with that, but think about this as toe pointing, and your inner thigh is leading that leg towards that midline. Squeeze in. Don't let that leg drop. Squeeze in for me. You can do this. Squeeze in. One more change and a hold, and then we're out of this side. Squeeze in an inch here. Eight and seven. Do not give up on it. I want you to make this leg really, really warm. Contract it. Three and two on one, hold center, little bend and extend, little bend and extend, everyone's favorite. Your leg is gonna wanna drop down right here, test it out. You're still staying tucked under, but don't let that leg start to fall. If you feel like you're getting too much arch in your lower back, turning on, lower it down. Eight seconds in your final hold right here, seven. Know that you have a plank at the end of this, so don't get excited for that uh, stretch just yet. Four, three, beautiful, two, on one, hold that leg. You know how to find that isometric hold in the challenging way. Bring left hand back to that quad. It's your final hold of three. Your hamstring should be warm here. Extend through that toe. Lengthen that, get that leg in the air. Where's that leg? I can't see it. If I can't see that toe, it's not high enough. Yes, there it is, hold. You have five seconds. In four seconds, you flex that foot, you drop it down, you meet me in that forearm plank. In three, you have this. In two, forearm plank, second one, second forearm plank of three. Oh, get right into it. No dirty looks, it's too early. I like when you smile at me. Everybody take a big inhale here. You're gonna want the rest. You don't have any single leg movements in your plank. It's all about your form right here. Same round of changes. I want you to breathe. When you need a stretch, you take it, but I want you to fight through. How long can you stay here? In 10 seconds, you're back to your plank in and out. Your right leg's going to talk to you differently than your left. Don't sink into your hips. In three, in two, you walk it out, out, in, in. We do not rush. No one is jumping today. My girls who have their balls on, I know that you're freaking on fire right here. You walk your feet out, out, in, in. Modification, you're going to hold center with feet either apart or together, and you come to your knees. I need you to stay in this plank for me. In five seconds, you got your shoulder reaches. Yes, nice job. Work. Four, three, two, keep feet apart, go into your reaches. Form looks great. Yes. Hips are right where they should be. I mean, everybody hold on to this. You're in those big reaches. You're going to feel a difference if you tap in front of you versus just reaching out into that air. I'm fine with either. Reaching into that air is going to be your extra challenge. In 10 seconds, you're going to hold center for me. You have this eight seconds here, seven and six. In five, you hold center. In four, keep reaching. Three, do not give up. Two, last one, you come back to center and then you press back, find your child's pose. You made it. Open knees up, long series, I know. Hold. Take the stretch and enjoy this for a moment. Open knees up, take the reset, big inhale. If you need to bring hands to one side and stretch out anything, you can. But really think about the release in your shoulders as you inch those fingertips towards the top of your mat. We got that other side. We get to stand after this, so hold on to it. Let's knock out left side right here. You're going to come back into an all four position. I do want a cat cow stretch before we get started. If you had balls on last round, I know you're leaving them on for this round. You walk forearms down to that mat. Let's set ourselves up here. Extend that left toe for me. Hips are square. Take right hand. Press it into your right quad. Just press, press, press. Point through your toe. Feel everything starting to turn on. Your balance here is starting to challenge you. Right leg is going to be fatigued. Pull belly button in. Bring right hand back down. From here, you tap that left toe behind your right foot. Lift to center. Tap center and lift back up. So you are from the start giving me that combo movement as we wake everything back up. Notice how slow we're going. We tap, squeeze to lift, tap, squeeze to lift. Now watch yourself. When you tap left toe behind that right, you're gonna wanna sink into your hips because you're a little bit fatigued. 
stay square here. It's that leg that is moving. Right leg is now stabilizing. So you're actually working that dominant side of the stabilization here. Think about the length in that left side. For most of you, your right side dominant. So your left leg needs so much love here. Same amount of attention. As you tap that toe down, you're squeezing from your glute as you lift that leg up to the top. We're going to hold at the top of this range in four seconds. You're going right into your pulses. You know where you are in three, in two, up at the top little pulses. Here's where you set your intention for this series. You squeeze from your center booty, not your toe. Toe doesn't drive this. Everything comes right from your booty. And then you think to yourself, how long and lean can I get that leg? Yes, we've got eight seconds right here. I want you pointing through your toe like your life depends on it. Contracting through your quad right here. Five, four, those fun circles. Three, I know you enjoyed them first round. And two, we're gonna go right into them here. As you circle, remember your body's going to want to make this circle much bigger than you need it to be. Keep it tiny. That teeny little blueberry, that quarter, you're just barely, you're just squeezing to lift and circle. Squeeze, lift, and circle. Your abs are still pulled in. In five seconds, you reverse directions. You have it. I know it's tiny. Four, beautiful. Three, two, hold one for me. Hold right there. Hold, 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 hold. Yep, we have those two changes. Now go back to that hold. Take right hand, put it on your quad. Can you point through that toe? Can you lengthen through the back of the leg? Can you give me a centimeter higher and then tuck your tailbone? The second you tuck your tailbone, you're gonna feel everything fire up. Five seconds right here. Beautiful, four. We're gonna bring that knee in for that nice bend and then hit that extension in three, in two. Beautiful, on one, you bring that knee in, full extension squeeze. Bring that knee in, full extension squeeze. We are not rushing this extension. You stay slow and controlled, trust your body, let it get warm. Look at your hands, do not start looking up anywhere else in that room. Protect your neck for me, slow, extend and then bend. You hold it at the top in five. Yes, I know we're fatigued, full body working here, three. And two, can you extend and hold for me? Extend and hold. Now bring that toe towards the midline. So you're squeezing your left cheek to bring your toe in just an inch. I'm fine if it's two to three inches. This is fine if it's big. It's about where are you squeezing? What's going to happen here is you're going to lose that length. So I want you to almost lock out that knee. Find length behind the back of that leg and pull it in an inch. You're almost out of it. I know we're fatiguing. Pull it in an inch. You can do this. Eight. And seven, we have that bend and press and a hold. You're just pulling your toe to the midline. Think about inner thigh. I know it's long. Five and four. God, everyone's loving this series today. Three and two. Hit that bend and press for me. Bend and extend. Oh, you're coming into your last change, but it's a hold. I know you're pumped. You're almost out of it. We get to stand after this. Everybody bend and press. Bend and press. Finish this series really strong. Five right here. Four and a hold three and a hold, good, two and a hold, last one, hold, freeze, bring that right hand back to your quad, final hold right here, point through your toe, breathe and trust your body, you have this, let it start to shake, lift that leg up one inch higher, everybody flex your foot for me, bring right hand back down, drop left foot, meet me in that plank, final plank, this is it for your planks today, so I need you to fight for it, everybody find that forearm plank, breathe. I know it was a long series, but this is the last time you're here. So I need you to make this really intentional. As you're in this plank, you know your changes. So can you stay in it one second longer? If you were counting how many plank in and outs you did, can you do one to two more? You hit those plank out and ins in five, four, good, three, and two. You walk it out, out, in, in. I would almost rather you lift your hips up a centimeter if you feel them starting to drop, find that tuck as you are deliberate. Now both legs are tired, so you can work them together. One isn't stronger than the other. Think about in this movement, can I feel my obliques, my lower abs, am I being deliberate in these out and in? You have shoulder reaches on deck in five, out, in, in, last three, out, in, in, last one, out, in, open feet back up if they're not going to your shoulder reaches. I want these so slow and intentional. Full extension of that arm, bring it back to center. Full extension of that arm, bring it back to center. Hold center if that's all you have left in you, and I'm fine with it. You are walking up to your hands at the end of this. You're hitting a downward dog. There's no child's pose. We got to keep it moving. Five seconds, four. I know you have this. Yes, hold on to it, Kathleen. It looks good. Three 
And two, everybody walks up to their hands and then you lift your hips into your downward dog and you start to pedal out your knees. Really nice leg series to just kick us off right there. Now, when you're ready to walk hands into your feet, feet into your hands, I want you to hang there nice and heavy for a second if you can for me. And I want you to just release your lower back like you're a rag doll. Take a big inhale, exhale, reach hands one inch further. You're gonna slowly start to restack that spine. Give me a big roll of your shoulders to the back of the room and a big roll of your shoulders to the front of the room. Once you're ready, you are going to either take bows off for a break of those ankles. You're gonna grab your weights for me as we're gonna go into some arm work here. Finish with abs. You're gonna take your weight in your hands, legs get a little bit of a break. I know you're not probably like super sweaty from that and heart rate didn't get up too high, but legs should be relatively fatigued if you did it correctly. Soften the bend in your knees, take your weights, open them out into your T for me and just find some long lean lines. Shoulders relax here. So we've got some big movements, tiny movements, but I want you to think shoulders, triceps, and then those biceps. Take one more big inhale, sink and bend into those knees. Your core should be turned on right here. Find your big reaches. And now we're just gonna tiny circle with those arms again. As you're reaching, remember your, your fingers aren't what's leading this. You're giving me that squeeze in your tricep. You are thinking about a hint of a lift in those shoulders. And then you just circle. We have eight and seven, beautiful, six and five. Final four, reverse in three, get fatigued here, two, on one reverse, it's 10 and nine, hold on to it, eight and seven, good, six and five, we hold in four and three, final two, right here, freeze from me, you're going to turn your palms towards me, go into your goal pose, we're just going to alternate reaches, you're in a bigger movement from those two tiny ones, reach and pull, reach and pull, I don't have weight, so I'm going to let my palms stay nice and long, 10 and nine, reach for eight, seven, beautiful, six and five, we've got it, four and three, last two, on one you hold full extension again, little bend and press, little bend and extend, little bend and extend, watch your shoulders, they're gonna wanna creep on you, tiny little extensions here for 10, good for nine, eight, we're back into a bigger movement in seven, you have it, six and five, you have four more reaches, three more reaches, two, one, freeze, back to that goal pose. Now we rotate down, we rotate up. We rotate down, we rotate up. Good, as you reach, think to yourself, shoulders are what are rotating, elbows stay at that same height, and then your palms come up and down for eight and seven, beautiful, six, and five, you've got it, four, and three, they're back long and strong, in two, good, on one, full extension, palms face back, palms face forward, palms face back, and four, you did your weights, you go into your balas, whatever you need to, you think about the burn in those arms, they've been lifted for a while, here's when you are fatigued, it's okay, it's fine, breathe through it, eight, and seven, six, and five, you've got it, four, and three, final two, on one, palms face me, back to that front, you are going to reach both hands up, both hands come down, find your rotation. Notice we're building on it, which means you must almost be out of it here. Rotate down, then rotate up. We reach back to center, rotate down, rotate up. Big lift and pull. Are your abs engaged? Are your knees bent right here? Breathe, you've got eight and seven. Final six and five, hold on to it. Four and three, last two, one, we freeze. Full extension, one more time, palms face down, finish here. I'm gonna give you a tiny break. If you drop weights you pick them back up don't let your arms come above your shoulders make sure you're at your t amy perfect beautiful in that connection to your core ladies i can see you contracting through those abs hold here for 10 for nine arms come down we're getting ready for tricep extensions breathe for me five four reach for three and two on one you lower arms down reach for those knees find your hinge like you're getting ready to dance. From here, palms face each other, pull arms in. I need you to give me a full extension, 10 pulses up, start time, 10, nine, eight. You better squeeze those triceps as tight as you can. You've got a full range movement in five, in four, good, in three, in two. Alternate your kickbacks, but leave the opposite arm up. So right arm and then left arm. The difference here, ladies, is you're not in a rest position with the opposite arm. You're in an isometric hold here with that opposite arm. You have it eight, 
seven, beautiful, six, switch, five, four, get that arm all the way up there, three, and two, on one, you freeze, pulse it again, 10, and nine, both arms go together in seven, in six, you're squeezing, five, you can do this, four, and three, keep squeezing, two, one, hold, we lower, lift, and squeeze, lower, lift, and squeeze, Use those triceps, squeeze really tight right here. It's 10 and nine, eight, and you stand, no hold, seven and six. Keep pressing both arms back right here for four and three, final two. On one, lower arms down, stand up. You're gonna go right into a bicep curl, press overhead for me. You have a bicep curl into a narrow press. So keep your elbows in. I'm fine if it turns into a hammer curl, or you can turn your palms towards me at the bottom, palms towards each other at the top. So just finishing out nice and strong right here. So think to yourself, palms face forward, they rotate, they face in. Your elbows stay nice and narrow. They don't open up. On my first one, they opened up for myself too, I know. 10 and nine, you've got it. Eight and seven, stay in your bicep curl. And six and five, four and three, bicep curl, two, and one, just stay in your curl, stay in your curl. Because your shoulders are tired, your bicep curl should feel different than it normally does if I had started you here. When you extend that arm, think squeeze tricep, then bicep, squeeze tricep, squeeze bicep. You better contract through this abs as tight as you can. Give me some ab work right here. 10 and nine, you meet me at 90, good, and eight and seven, you have six, knees bent, five, keep breathing, four, and three, you have this two, meet me at 90, pulse it up one inch, little presses here. Pretend like you're going through mud or through water. As you squeeze in, you contract abs, and then you squeeze biceps, that's eight, good, seven, and six, you have three changes left, five in your biceps, four, and three, beautiful, two, one, hold, take those arms, open them out into that V, and now come halfway up. Breathe right here, tiny circle. Think about keeping your hands at shoulder height or below so you can keep squeezing and contracting through your bicep. Eight and seven, you have reverse direction circles here in five. Elbows stay low in four, keep them off your rib cage. Three and two, reverse that circle. You've got eight, seven, breathe, six. Yes, friends, five and four, hold in three. Pulses out one inch and two. Little pulses out, little press, little press. Finish it out, press and press. Final change in 10, press for nine. You've got eight and a hold, seven. We're gonna squeeze those weights and freeze right here in four. In three, final two, you squeeze those weights and you just breathe. From here, you have a soft bend in your knees. Can you hover your heels for me? I know you can't see my heels, they're hovering, I promise you. Sink down one more an inch, just to fire up outer thighs. Squeeze your bicep, contract your abs, 10 seconds in your out, go nine, and eight, nice court, seven, and six, you've got it, five, four, rest in three, good, two, one, arms come down, set weights down. Quick little stretch, bring right arm across of the, across that chest, press into your left for me, drop that right ear towards your right shoulder, oh, that little stretch should feel good, and then full extension, opposite arm comes across your chest. I think that weight room helped us. I think it helped our time. Drop that ear down slowly towards that left side. Beautiful. Everyone's going to come back up towards center. One more change standing, and then we finish in those abs. I want you to open those feet nice and wide. It's a second position hold just to finish out inner and outer thighs. Open feet nice and wide right here. It's a minute that you're here. If you want weights, you can hold on to your weights, but I'm going to cue you with nothing. Take your fingers. You're going to put them right on your hips. Hips do not move either side. Keep everything straight. Drop your hips down for me right here. Make sure fingertips are still facing forward. Then bring your hands to prayer. From here, keep an eye on those knees. They should be tracking right over those ankles. And then you're going to sink down further than you think you can or you want to. Take a big inhale. The 30 second mark heels are going to lift. This is all just about form and breath work right here. Don't get fancy. Think where can you contract just like you are in your forearm planks. As you sink down, you are doing everything you can to press knees back, drive the weight through your heels. Toes are lift, almost could lift your wiggle. Now, as you're breathing through this, can you contract your abs and give me a slight tuck of your tailbone? Everyone's breathing. Big inhale. 
exhale and contract abs. Now I need you to lift your right heel and your left heel for the last 30 seconds because I want you to find the shake. I want you to go to failure. You're about to lay on the mat for the last two minutes. So find failure in these legs. Come down one more inch, press those knees apart, and you press those palms together like your life depends on it right here. Watch shoulders, watch shoulders. They're going to want to hint forward. Yes, really nice change. Hold here. 15 seconds is all I need from you. If you are not shaking, can you lift heels any higher? Can you sink down? Can you tuck tailbone? 10, 9, breathe for 8. Don't come out of it. 7, let it shake. 6 and 5, muscles changing. 3 and 2, 1, stand. Beautiful. Quick transition for me. Sorry, as we hit that two minute mark. You are going to lay right down. I told you you were done with your planks and I was not lying to you. So nothing fancy to get back down on that mat. No props needed right here. Knees come into your chest. Three changes and you're out of this class. Pull knees in. Find that tight, tight, tight little ball. Point through those toes for me, friends. And then you're going to reach arms in front of you, legs in front of you. If you have room, you'll circle back into that hold. If you do not have room, then you're just going to reach hands forward. Notice our pace. Exhale, good. And inhale. No one is rushing. Head, neck, and shoulders are lifted. You look right towards those toes as you reach. Your modification is to grab those shins at the top. Find that tight little ball. Your extra challenge is to reach for those ankles. You have this. You are so much stronger in those abs than you realize. Five seconds here. Four and three. Beautiful. Two. I need everyone to find the extension. Hold right here. Reach hands towards those ankles, heels together, toes apart. Yes, you can. Really big reach. Give me 10 seconds here. Nine. Hands go back behind your head and eight. In seven, can you lower down an inch right here for four? Hands behind your head and three. Bring hands back in. Turn toes towards that ceiling. Right back into your bicycles. Twist. Twist, reach, twist, and twist. Hold on to a really big twist right here. Every time you twist, can you come up one inch higher? You have an isometric hold and you're out of it. I need 15 seconds left in these bicycles. Every time you twist, you exhale, you reach that elbow past that knee. One minute left of work. You're right there. Five seconds right here. Four seconds, three. We are in a center hold in two. Extend those leg long, heels together, toes apart. Reach back for those ankles. Fatigue right here. Here's your failure. Drop those ankles down an inch if you can. If you want that extra challenge, hands come behind your head. Drop toes down an inch and up an inch. For eight and seven, you have six in a rest. Five four beautiful three and two on one knees come into your chest you made it all the way back down everybody give yourself a nice wrap from side to side in about 20 seconds we'll cut off but at least we fixed it and this being admitted into class we'll make sure that we get our full 40 minutes everyone have such a great rest of the day thursday bright and early we'll build on this i hope you are warm give yourself a stretch and have such a good day bye